It's morning. We're in the shop again. We've got basically a week to have this truck 100% ready for the tow truck games. Today we're gonna pull the transmission pan off and figure out why it won't go into park. The rod's gotta be bent, something like that. Something easy, I think. You gotta put some caps on these extensions I built right here. So we're gonna cut those first. We'll weld them in. I built this last night. Didn't get to film any of that because I was just working on. We've got some new Yankum rope spun in here and we have this feature. We welded this on the front end, so now this winch rope can suck the front end up. We're knocking things off the list slowly. Do a little grinding and they'll fit. What are you building? I'm building a little bracket for this horn. We've got a bracket in the back here. We'll just attach it to this horn, then it won't rattle. Just probably doesn't need it, but why not do it, right? One's capped. Let's go do the other side. Hello. All right, no trailer or anything, just the truck. All right, we'll come up. Okay, see ya. Bye. Stuck truck. I gotta finish what I'm doing and then we'll go. All right, truck's not done, but it's going on its first recovery. So we're gonna go get a truck that's stuck in a swamp. So we'll go try that. We're gonna need the winches. There we go. See if we can get these guys out. Maiden voyage, nothing like going on a tow for your maiden voyage, right? He can get out of here. Okay. Run, Coach Ben. Jump in that thing. 
snow. All right, back to the shop. See ya. Thanks, guys. Yep, no Appreciate problem. It. Thank you, Paul. No problem. <sighs> okay, that's out. Two wheel drive. All right, first recovery was a success. We know some more things we got to do to the truck now in a few days, so uh, we'll get after it. We found some things. We got a bad fan clutch. She got warm just sitting there, I, or sitting there winching. It got warm, but she's free. So we got a fan clutch coming. Hopefully that'll fix that problem. And then we've discovered this problem we thought we might have, but we have it. These winches, they will pull like a freight train, but they're slower than cold tar, which is terrible. It's not what I need. We're thinking. These may be electric before the tow truck Olympics. We'll see how this all pans out. All right, Grandma, she was feeling bad because everything went south for us today. She made us some lunch. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Barbecued chicken sandwiches and some salads. That'll make me feel better. Probably won't make me win the tow truck Olympics, but it'll make me feel better. <laughs> Harbor Freight is coming through clutch for us. They are gonna give us two new 12,000 pound winches to replace these ones, because they're not gonna do what we needed to. Hunter, he's all gearing up. He's gonna take one for the team. It's a blizzard outside. He's going over a 10,000 foot peak to, <laughs> to go get our winches for us, so. Thank you guys, thanks Harbor Freight. Without them, uh, we'd be getting our butt kicked at the tow truck gate, but it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna let it happen. And I am off to Cedar. Yeah, I was over there a few days ago. There was a lot of snow. I, when I went over, I was pushing two feet of snow the whole time I was going over. So this might be an adventure. All right, I'm gonna save you guys a whole bunch of the disassembly because you've seen me take these on and off 20 times. The boxes are coming back off and then basically the winches unbolt down here in those. Once we get that all unbolted, we'll show you lifting the winches up out of there and getting it out of our way and then we'll carry on. But uh, Hunter's gone, so no cameraman, just me and Ben. So. We're gonna get to work. We'll show you little bits and pieces of the progress as we go. Look at all this snow. Let's see if I can flip it for you. There is a lot of snow here. All right, it only took us about 15 minutes. We got this thing unbolted. Ben's tightening the last line up right here. We just plumbed the lines back to their self so they wouldn't leak. We're gonna hook a crane onto this and tug that thing up out of there and then we'll start building the platform so when Hunter gets here, we mount some winches down to it, run some lines, hook some battery cables up, and it works. We'll see if we put the electric over hydraulic winch assembly on it. It's, it's happening, I actually own it. I was uh, a little nervous that this situation would, would cap. Oh, look at that, I'm bleeding. I thought this may happen, so I ordered parts so that we could make it the other way if we need to, but here we go. Look at all of that snow. Holy cow. Okay, we're gonna find out what this is. We free? Yeah, keep going Looks up. Like it. One heavy winch set up, out. That's heavy. That's heavy. Good enough. There it All is. All right, there's that. So here's our setup we gotta work with. We'll build a platform, something that comes up off of here, bolts in the same holes. We've gotta cut these off. They're gonna be in our way, so we'll get all that out of our life. And uh, we'll have winches before the night's over, I hope. Check this thing out. Barrier is so high that they have to snow blow the whole thing. So I don't know, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but the snow is higher than my truck. A lot higher than my truck actually. I heard that our area up on top of here got 17 feet. Landon's home from school, so that can mean one thing. It's three o'clock and we're running out of hours. He's here filming now, so you'll get to see a little more. 
I'm drilling some holes. We'll show you where they go in just a second. This is part of the winch mount. We're using some 3 8 material. Should be plenty tough. Mounts are going to go in here like this all the way across. Then we'll weld a piece of strap across the top of it. Brace the insides all up. The winches will mount to the top of this. Should be running. A few hours we'll have this done when Hunter gets here. And uh, we'll at least have winches that'll work right. Then we gotta go ahead and figure out my other system's not gonna be here till Friday or Saturday to make the rest of the hydraulics work like I want without the PTO. So, soon enough though. That is a one lane road. Look at that barrier. That is well, that's probably 23 feet, 25 feet probably. That was quite the jaunt. We have made it, if you can see that, Harbor Freight. Alrighty, let's go see if we can get two winches, I think. That's all we need. Here we go. We got them. They're, uh, they're taking care of us out here. We don't even gotta carry them, look at that. They're doing all the work for us. We got both of them. Now I've got to go to CarQuest, I believe. I'm just their little errand boy, look at me go. Just got done with car quest. I've got the caps we need to make from the to make it go from hydraulic to electric winching. Just got the car quest. So now I'm on my way home. Next time you'll see me is me carrying these heavy winches into Ball and Ben. All right, we're running out to cut a piece of flat strap to go on the top of this. We need 38 and a half inches. We'll go get it. Gonna stay right where it is. All right, that will do. Speaking of Hunter, there he is. There's our wind just. All right, got it. <laughs> They're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Okay, we got this fit. I like it. We're going to get it all squared up and weld it all in, and then we'll start bracing it. Then we'll go ahead and set the winches on here, find locations, drill and mount them, run some cables, and we got it. Getting her tacked in place. We'll have it functioning within a couple hours. these things out of here. All right. There's one. Yeah, that's gonna do what we need it to. We just gotta make sure I don't put these little, so I build a whole bunch of braces that are gonna go in here. I don't wanna weld them in right where a bolt's gonna go through it, so we're figuring this out. I wonder if we kinda wanna tip them. Cause that's in the middle there. If we tip them, they'll pull. That's probably what we wanna do. All right, all the holes are drilled. Winches should bolt on. That thing's never gonna go anywhere with that. That's a lot of metal, it's gotta break. It should break these little bolts off before it ever breaks all of this. Oh, you can get that. There we go. All right, I'll go to weld and put this thing together. All right, she is completely welded up. Now we just let it cool off. And then we get it bolted back in the truck and put the winches on it, see if it works. Uh, anyone know where that Fairlead right piece there. went? Right there. Everything's 
Hold it there. We have one more somewhere. This one. The thick of it. To the thick of it. Do you know what that's from, Hunter? TikTok. No. That is from TikTok. <laughs> it is from TikTok, but all they've been using that. Oh my goodness. It's Where uh, did it originate? Yeah. Backyard again, so that's where it's at. Into the thick of it! Into the thick of it! So when I was at Chad's and we, we moved that wrecker, I seen the problem develop and started trying to solve it in my mind. There was parts in order, so we thought we'd test it a little more. We tested it today. It was never going to work. So, here we are. Oh, we're almost back to where we started this day. <laughs> No further ahead, but maybe not further behind if we play this right. We'll see. We're putting some power to this thing. Maybe. With just a little bit of luck. Because we haven't had very much of that lately. These will work properly. Hard to tell. That's only a thousand times faster. Oh, that's, that's much better. Okay, we should be good. Two ends. It works. We're back to winching again. Woohoo, it's way faster. Much better. It wasn't gonna work with the other one. That's what testing tells you. So, been a long day, but uh, the tow truck's back to where we started this morning, finally. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a back window in it and some mesh and the transmission fixed. And Isn't that what we started with? That's what we started out today. Didn't even touch any of that. So, thanks for watching, I guess. I don't know how the, I don't know, is there enough of that to end it? We have a good test. We'll probably have more tomorrow. Yeah.